everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another update of the roulette pan collab. I never know what to say in the beginning of these videos because I feel like we've been doing it for so long. I've been doing so many updates in this project and it just kind of spins around in my head. Basically there will be a lot of information in my description box so if you're interested in this project you should check out my description box. But this is round 8, update number 2 or 3, oh, it will be in the title, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a project that was started by my friend Rebecca and I back in 2017, we've been doing a lot of rounds in this project, as I said, this is round 8, Rebecca will be listed in my description box and you should really go and check her out and show her some love uh, because she really deserves it. And I will also give a shout out to uh, the Discord server that I will be linking in, in my description box which was started also by Rebecca and I uh, kind of for this project but we talk about everything in that Discord like we do makeup challenges uh, th that is why I'm wearing blue today because we have a challenge to do a blue look um, so I'm gonna be posting this there and yeah, we talk about everything, we talk about this product, we have a channel for Pandos Eyeshadow, so if you're doing that product, um, just you can join the server and then talk about it in that chat, or we have a chat for no buys, um, new releases, talk me out of it, self promo, like we have all different chats, um, like other interests, everything, you can, you can click the link in my description box. And that box and that will take you to the server and we would really love to have you there we're actually starting like a server not exclusive but like a project that we um came up with in the server that we're gonna do for 2021 and uh, so if you're curious about that you can as i said click the link in my description box but yeah I think I'm just gonna get into it. This is a roulette style product, so we have a list of categories and then we randomly pick um, six of those categories and then you pick items in your intro. Whoops. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you, uh, as I said, pick. No, I didn't say, okay. And then you pick. <laughs> wow! I'm all over the place today. But so you pick items corresponding to those categories and then. Uh, you work on those items and if you hit your goal on one, you roll it up and you roll in a new product. And yeah, I think that's like the basic, base, like, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna start talking about the items, okay? So let's start with the most exciting one. Uh, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter and where are the markings? Okay, so they are kind of rubbed off, but I was here when I put it in this product and now it's completely empty. So there is like a tiny bit of product in here, but I've tried to like get it out. I've stored it like upside down. I've stored it on the sides, tried to like scrape with the, like the pump thing, uh, like this, try to scrape with this and like apply. But I feel like I've got most of it out <laughs> i absolutely got most of it out but i feel like i uh, struggled with it for a while and then i just kind of felt like i was done with it <laughs> um and there's nothing coming out if i'm pumping and i can't get it out if i'm using kind of the one so yeah one product done which is really exciting and then let's see let's talk about like the others in this project is really hard to show progress on uh, but I also have this I can't remember which category this was for but this was for a product that I'm scared to pan because this is huge and I had never used it before uh, this is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel <laughs> bronzer um, this smells really good you can kind of see like I have a kind of a dip in there uh, which I'm excited about because it was completely new when I put it in um, and yeah I'm using it every single time I'm doing my makeup I am wearing it today I think it looks really pretty um, it's very easy to use like you can kind of right now I'm using 
mostly like cream products I will put on my foundation then I will put on my concealer then I put on this and then like a cream contour and then a cream blush and then I go in with my powder and then some highlighter uh, or powder highlighter and I can use it that way I can also use it after I have set with powder underneath my eyes it doesn't get it doesn't like mess up when you use it kind of on top of powder so I've been really enjoying this and I will continue using it in this project and probably once this project ends as well and then we have this this is the L'Oreal lacquer in 101 gone with a nude and this was for my favorite the category my favorite nude and I feel like I'm like I'm hopeful I am wearing it today I'm hopeful I will be able to use this up within this project because I'm like scraping the sides of the tube and I feel like I don't get a ton out when I do that so I'm like I'm hopeful I will be able to use this up within this project which would be super exciting exciting but I can't like show you any progress on it uh, because you can't see any progress um, but I'm really like crossing my fingers that I will be able to use that up then we have this which is the Versed the Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel and you're just supposed to apply it like on clean skin in the evening and then sleep with it and you're supposed to do that two to three times a week and I feel like like this was completely full when I put it in and now you can kind of do like this which is exciting that means I have been using it not a ton but I have actually been using it so this is kind of the progress I have in this product so far and I'm really excited to keep using it I don't like I haven't used it enough to see any like I guess any like difference in my skin um, but I will continue using it I do enjoy like the process of applying it um, so I do enjoy that and then we have, let's do this one, this is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and this uh, was for a category, I think it was like a color, I don't wish for or something with color and I chose to go with these two greens because I, like, I bought this palette because I kind of fell in love with this kind of murky green theme up here and then I never used them um, so now I think I've used the darker one a total of four times and then the lighter one a total of three times and my goal is to use them ten times each so I, I think I could do it like this is the last update before the finale I think I could do it I just need to kind of focus on them um, so we'll see um, only time will tell <laughs> and then we have the last product which I don't think you will be able to see any progress on this is the uh, Colourpop lipstick in the shade Quickie um, and I am wearing it underneath this today and I feel like they go well together it's a very light nude if I don't use this on top um, but I still really enjoy the formula of this I feel like today though I could have used kind of a exfoliate like I, I could probably have exfoliated my lips before I apply this um, but I still enjoy it so yeah those were the items that I have in this product and so we have one month left of this product so I'm gonna roll in a new uh, item just because I did use this one up uh, I did also like I rolled this in in my last update so I have been my successful <laughs> so far in this project uh, but I'm gonna go to a randomizer I'm using the app pretty random and then I'm gonna put in 1 through 100 because I'm using the list of 100 categories and then we're gonna randomize 68 so let's see which one is 68 oh this is a nice category so category number 68 is something that you are looking forward to using frequently so basically something I I would like to use frequently so I actually have one item that I'm using really frequently and that I really enjoy but it's not in the project so let's just include that one I didn't even have to turn off the camera I just had it in front of me this is the the balm Mary luminizer and as I said or did I it's a highlighter and I feel like I have a dip in here 
Like, I don't think I will be able to hit pan in a month. But like, if I can make even more progress, that would be cool. And like, eventually, I think I would be able to hit pan in this one. Uh, well, of course. <laughs> but I feel like I'm not like super far away. Hopefully you can see the diff. Uh, but yeah, let's just include this one. I am uh, looking forward to using this frequently. Frequently, I am wearing it today. I feel like it's a very nice um, highlighter for like you can go super intense or you can go a bit lighter. Like don't not apply as much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this one uh, for the category uh, 68. Something I look forward to using frequently, and that's gonna be it for this update. So usually in this update we announce when we're gonna do the next round, but we haven't really decided yet. You're gonna have to stay tuned to find out the date when the next round starts. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!